Yeah, what's up, everybody? Woo! Just gonna wait for people to roll in here. You guys want to um, type your names in the uh, chat let me know you're here and then any questions you have you hey what's up Courtney hey guys if you guys have questions by the way just drop them in the chat um, while I'm going through things and then we'll uh, we'll go from there there you go what's up Rob hey Jeannie hey Randy hey Steph hey Chris hey Barbie Brandy hey Brandy Hey, Mel. My hair is crazy right now, guys. Look at this. So sad. So sad. All right, so we'll wait for a couple more people. It looks like uh, I know a couple of people are just going to be watching, so they might not be in the chat exactly. Can relate with the hair issue. Yeah, no doubt. So sad. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go through uh, kind of how I'm gonna do this. So we're gonna do things a, a little bit different. Obviously this is webinar format, so this is not like Zoom meeting format. And the reason I wanna do it this way, uh, hey Anna, um, the reason I wanna do it this way is so I can go through real quick, kind of like the basics. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my phone screen to the screen so you guys can see in real time. And then on this side, I want you guys just to ask me questions um, that have been maybe racking your ba your brain, maybe things that were it's like, hey, I see that somebody did this on a TikTok, how can I do this? Um, so those are the types of things because I believe that there's a lot of people that are putting out um, tutorials and things of that nature, but what they're doing is they're just kind of like talking at you and they're not really teaching you or answering your questions. And I believe that is a bit of a problem so um, to, to kind of battle that, um, I want to do it this way because I believe this is, is really going to be the best way to do it. Um, let me uh, just... All right, so we got... Okay, pretty much everybody's in here. All right, so we're going to... jump over here and I'm going to grab so one sec all right so obviously we're in the training session here I want to just hop back over one second because I want to be able to see your questions All right. Oh, we went really far. Wow. Let's go back a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, let's try this one more time. All right. There we go. In the meantime, I do want to add um, thanks to uh, Rich Beck from Beck and Specs for sponsoring this, <clears throat> and thanks to Jeanette Hitchcock um, from Remax Real Estate Agent. She actually just sold her. Her last, uh, her last house that was on the, that she had on the market uh, yesterday. So it's time for us all to get back to work. My, that's my belief. You can agree or disagree. I think you've seen that on my social media accounts, but it kind of is what it is. So let's understand the TikTok algorithm. <clears throat> it's very interesting because 
I've been following a lot of people that have been trying to figure it out. And a lot of people can't do that. And that's one of the big things. It's like, we want to try to figure out the Facebook algorithm. We want to try to figure out the Instagram algorithm, but TikTok is a little bit different. I'm going to go through how TikTok actually levels up videos and why it does it that way. So the closest that we've kind of figured out is this view duration is one of the biggest ones. And this is actually really in order. So view duration. So what that means is how long does somebody watch your video? So there's two different ways you can upload a TikTok, right? You can upload a TikTok as a 60 second video or anything shorter than that. So you could actually go even to like a three second video. And I talk about that a lot and I call that snackable content. So what that means is human behavior is really set in place right now where our attention span is much, much shorter, right? So based on the attention, pan, attention span being much, much shorter, we have to take into consideration that the content that we're putting out, we're getting that information to the person that's consuming the content as quick as possible. So we want to call that what's called snackable content. So view, view duration, a great way to level up your videos into the next sector of TikTok showing it to more people is to do shorter videos. So personally, I will sometimes put out a 60 second video and that's just because I prefer to do 60 second videos. However, yeah, apparently you can't get in if it's already started. Um, I do 60 second videos and sometimes I don't watch that, but at the end of the day, a 15 second video that I put out sometimes might go to let's say 11,000, 12,000 views. So view duration is important. The really important part of that is the interaction with the video. So giving that person the information about what the video is about within the first three seconds, that, I can't stress that enough. If you're not letting the person know what they're about to watch, then most likely they're gonna scroll to the next one. What you can do is do a video, let them know in the first three seconds about what the video is about. However, before the end of the video, make sure that you're adding in that interaction where it's like we wanna know where the, we wanna know in the, more in the comments section, we want to engage that person in there because that's the next thing that comes in, the interaction with the video. So interaction with the video means are they liking it or are they commenting on it? The more comments that happen in the actual post, the more it's gonna be shown to more people. So very, very similar to Instagram. And then the hashtags you search for. So I, I want you guys to understand that hashtags are very important on Twitter, they're very important on Instagram, but they're actually most important, most important, actually they're important in LinkedIn too, but they're most important in TikTok. That's how TikTok decides whether or not to show your your uh, content to someone else. Now, what's gonna happen is this, you might type in the hashtag in TikTok and it shows and might over here, it's gonna show you how many people are viewing in that hashtag. If it says 2.2 billion people, it's a waste. Don't even bother using that hashtag. Try to stick to something towards the millions. That way you give yourself the ability to maybe show up to some more people and they're gonna engage with your video to send it to the next level. And then profiles that uh, you visited. So how many profiles do you actually visit? And that's one of the big problems. If you're just focused on your TikTok and you're not focused on engaging with other people's TikToks, TikTok knows that and it's not going to be as beneficial to you. So make sure that you at least take a little bit of time during the day, go into other people's TikToks, engage with it, like it, and uh, spend some time on that FYP page, which is what we're going to talk about next. So TikTok, the FYP page or for you page is very similar to the explore page on your Instagram. So if you go into your Instagram and you click on that magnifying glass, what you're going to see there is content that you relate to the most. Instagram, that's how an algorithm works, by the way. It starts to understand your behavior and then wants to show you that information in that explore page. So TikTok with for you page is the exact same thing. The more you engage with when you click on the top for you or following when you click on the for you page, that is going to be content of people that you follow already and content that you, uh, that is similar that you've engaged with previously. So the for you page is extremely important and that's how the algorithm learns about who you are and then the information that's going to show you as well as the other people that are viewing your content. Hopefully everybody gets that. So this is how TikTok levels up your information. And this is literally like one, two, three, four, five, right down the list of importance. So rewatches. Rewatch is like the highest. It's the highest you can get, okay? Um, so what I mean by that is this, and this is why the, it's important to talk about that short content. A rewatch is some, and I know you've done this. If you've already used TikTok, I know you've already done this. When you're watching a TikTok and then you watch it again, that would be considered a rewatch. Rewatches 
are like the top of the line. It's the best you can get. So the shorter your video is, if you're understanding me, the shorter your video is, and the more times people rewatch it more than once, TikTok goes, oh, this must be really good content. We're gonna show it to the next person and the next person and the next person. So rewatches are very, very high. So when you're building out your content, sometimes try to build out your content, at least some of the content, to focus it towards getting people to rewatch it more than once. A finish is how many people actually watch your TikTok to the end. Now, here's something really important and a nice little hack tip that you probably didn't know. If you watch, when you upload your, your own TikTok, it actually shows it to you, right? Based on that, what you might do is be like, I don't want to watch myself and you swipe to the next thing. You were the first person to view your own TikTok. You didn't like your own TikTok and you didn't watch your own TikTok to the end and you didn't rewatch it. So you're not doing anything to help your own TikTok post when you first post it. So think about that the next time you post it up, watch it to the end, maybe rewatch it a couple times and make sure you like your own post. It helps it start to get some fuel into the system so people can start seeing it. Shares. When you are able to look at a TikTok, you know that you can share a TikTok. So you can either share it via a text message or to your Instagram stories or whatever it is. Shares, even exterior shares are counted into as important uh, or as importance um, to leveling up uh, that particular post on your TikTok. So rewatch, finish, shares. Comments, obviously, this is one that's very, very important, just like on Instagram and Facebook. Um, shares are very, very important and so are comments. And then of course, likes. That is last on my list though. That's the last one that I want you guys to focus on is the like section. The likes will come with the rewatches, rewatches, the finishes, the shares, and the comments. So don't worry. That's the last thing on the list that I want you to worry about is the likes. I want you to worry more or be concerned more with the rewatches, the finishes, and the shares, at least those top three. Those are the ones that are the most important that I want you to keep your eye on. This is where most of you fall short. And this is finding your niche and your topic. What are you going to talk about? Um, when you first start TikTok, you can pick out, you know, kind of what you do. So fitness tends to do really well on there. Marketing tends to do really well on there. Real estate tends to do really well, well on there. But in the reality of things, if you pick your niche and you stick within your niche, that's when you're going to get the best results. So you need to identify your skill set. What is your skill set? What are you good at, right? So I, what I'm good at figuring out things that work well in digital marketing, offering value when people need it based on that. So this is a perfect platform for me personally to be able to do that. But you just need to think about it from the standpoint of what you do for a living. So what do you do for a living? Are you a real estate agent? Are you um, a, someone who offers insurance or credit, uh, credit card um, processing or whatever it is? It doesn't really matter what you do, but you need to identify your skill set and what you're good at. We're all good at something, so we all have the ability to add value to people that don't do what we do. So you need to identify that skill set. Identify the problems you can solve, and that's a lot of the things that a lot of us don't do. We focus on what we do ourselves, and we push that out there instead of focusing on the problems that we can solve for other people. So I know that I've talked about this before, but um, uh, I think it's Ask the Population or Ask the Audience. I'll have to give you guys the website. I, I remember what it is, but I give you a website where it's basically like you can't come up with content or a problem to solve, but you know you have the answer to it. You just can't figure out the question to answer to solve the problem for someone. So um, uh, I will, I'll post that website up in the chat, but I can't remember what it is, but it's a really, really good one. Um, identify the niche hashtags of uh, already successful content. So just like the YouTube um, process that I gave you guys, uh, it's, it's real simple. Go and look at five people, pick five people out typically um, that are very successful on TikTok. Look at the hashtags that they're using in their posts. It's long, as long as these people are in a similar niche as you, so if they're also real estate agents or in the mortgage industry or in the credit card processing industry or whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. Um, if these people are putting out content, look at the hashtags they're using and use those same hashtags. What's going to happen <clears throat> is you're going to start to show up when people are searching for those hashtags. That is extremely important. And one of the other things that I, I haven't mentioned yet, but I will mention it now, is that Google picks up uh, TikToks. So when you type someone's name in, and this is the importance of your username, when someone types in TikTok, oh, looks like you got a chat here, hold on. Ah, oh, answer the public. Yes, Courtney, you're absolutely right. That's what it's called. It's called answer the public. So 
Hopefully you got that from me. Um, answer the public is a really, really good one. So what about switching back and forth between fun and niche in order to gain traction? I'm actually getting to that. Um, and that's a great question. Um, hold on one second. That's a great question because that is one of the big problems that people have is they stick to just their niche. And what happens there is you, when I'm, and I'm, and I'm saying pick a niche, you need to pick a niche, but there's a big difference between entertainment and, and what you do. And this is why TikTok does so well. So like we were talking about before, like Scott, right? Scott, who I just had on my podcast, perfect example. He's in the mortgage industry. I would venture to say that it is the m most boring industry that you could quite possibly have. Based on that, he entertains people through the mortgage industry by giving the information in an entertaining way. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to those types of things uh, later on in here, especially when we go, go to my phone. But switching back and forth between fun and niche is extremely important, but you can also mix niche and fun at the exact same time. So I use the, the VASH framework. This is the framework that I believe that you should probably use. So always offer value over everything else. That's the one thing that you have got to consistently do is you have to offer value over everything else. That's what, that, quite honestly, that's what TikTok's all about, especially from the adult standpoint. And when we're doing TikToks that are fun and um, we're doing dances and things of that nature, I get that, but offering value after you've, after you've picked your niche, offering the value is, is something that's very important. So let's, let's, let's use an example, right? So Pasqua is in here, she's, in, uh, she's a hairstylist. Based on that, there's a lot of people that are sitting at home right now that can't get haircuts. I'm one of them. So it would be great for her to go on her TikTok and give small tips and tricks on how to properly style your hair when being at home stuck in something like this, right? Um, Barbie is a perfect example. Barbie is in the, in the credit card processing um, industry. Based on that, what can she offer from a value standpoint while people are staying at home, right? What can they do? So we have to be able to offer value over everything else. Now, all is all, A-W-E, is something new. What are we doing that um, other people don't know about, right? How can we add value based on something that people have never even seen before? And that's the all factor. Um, very, very important. And that comes with time. It's not something that I believe that you're gonna come up with right away. Uh, surprise and increased duration. So surprise is, in that first three seconds, like I told you before, immediately get the person's attention, whether that's pop into the screen real quick, you've got their attention, quick transition into something else. So humor, um, and Barbie, this is what we were getting to, humor, we were talking about fun. Humor always works. Humor works with everything, no matter what you do. Uh, even in my own content, even if it's not on TikTok, even if it's something else, um, humor is always going to uh, be at the top of the scale. Um, during that, that, that bash frame, framework, but always remember that value, the value that you bring as well is there. And that's what we're talking about with these ideas. I mean, you guys have the ability to really create a whole new business um, based on people that are just staying at home. So Pasqua, I would 100% do that. Start using those TikToks as tips and tricks on how people can style their hair during this time. Growth hacks. Always use trending music. A lot of the times what you're going to do is you're going to just go with the music that TikTok recommends that you use with your video. Instead, what you should be doing is you should be using trending music. Um, hopefully everybody on here that's on TikTok knows where the trending music is, but also make sure the duration of the trending music that you're gonna use matches up with the time on your video. So if you're posting a 15 second video, make sure that the trending music that you're picking for your video lasts 15 seconds and is not a three second music clip because that's not gonna make much sense. Um, participate in challenges. So when you go to the discover page of uh, TikTok, you can see most recent challenges, challenges that are out there currently that people are uh, participating in. If you get up early in the morning, like most of us, or most of us should be, um, you can see that the challenges are right there in the morning. And if you can hop on a challenge right away, and you can put a really good piece of content out right up from a challenge and get it to kind of mesh with the niche of what you do, you can really, really quick level up. And um, that one post, that one particular post could just go like super viral. And now you've got, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of followers. Um, so participate in challenges, but try to make sure that it fits into your niche. So you don't have to participate in all of them, but ones that you can find that can, that can uh, fit into your niche. 
use stickers, GIFs, and captioning. So what I mean by that is this, a majority of the people that watch any type of video, they don't typically um, have their volume up. It's just how it is. Now, with TikTok's a little bit different because it's so musically based, but at the end of the day, if we're looking at TikTok at one, two in the morning, which most of us do, we have the volume down. And if that's the case, we wanna make sure that there's some sort of captioning that's going on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys today how to set durations um, into even slightly captioning your TikToks. Now, if you don't know how to get captioning for video automatically, I always talk about this app um, and I'll put it actually right in here. Hang on one second, I'll put it in the chat for you. So that website right there, Veenly, if you take a video that you've shot, it doesn't necessarily have to be on TikTok, but if you take a video that you've shot where you're talking, you can upload that to Veenly for free um, and it will subtitle your videos for you and you can do that right from your phone um, and it's a great way to be able to do it. But there's also a way within TikTok that you can do this. It's not gonna be exact, but it's also a great way for you to be able to do this because they wanna be able to see, okay? They wanna be able to see what you're talking about. So it helps bring people along. If there's nothing on the screen and it's just you talking, people are gonna lose attention really, really fast. And then comment on follower content at least 10 times per day. I know that this one particular thing is the one thing that we don't ever wanna do, but this is the best thing that you can possibly do. So when I tell you this on Instagram, same thing. You know, how do I get more followers? Like, how do I do this? How do I do it? Dude, it's so easy. All you have to do is take about 10 minutes and go in to, during the day and comment on other people's posts, especially posts that are doing really well. So if you find a bunch of people that are verified on TikTok and they're inside your niche and you go and comment there and you leave a really good comment, people are gonna go back and they're gonna follow your, your TikTok. So I really want you guys to go into that follower content and um, go in there and comment at least 10 times a day if you can do that. Take about five minutes to do it. It's not hard, it's not difficult, and it's something that I 100% believe that you need to spend some time on. All right, oops, sorry, went too far, man. ABR formula. So the attention value and relevance formula is uh, very, very important when it comes to TikTok. Um, so you need to describe what your video is about in the first three seconds. I've already talked about this. The, I can't tell you how critical this is. What's the name of the website for captions? It's actually right above you. It's Veemly, V-E-M dot L-Y. Um, describe what your video is about in the first three seconds. If you don't do that, I'm telling you right now, you're going to get that, that wrist action with the thumb sticking out not good. Okay. So we need to describe what our video is about in the first three seconds. Give it a couple practice tries before you actually post it up, but it's extremely important. Value, follow the immediate attention up with the core value of the video. So the immediate attention up, it's got to be with the core value of the video. So we've got the attention in the first three seconds and now we get, it. we have to get in directly into the value of the video. That's where a lot of us tend to not do so well as we wait until the end of the video because we're used to posting on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, where we wanna drag out the value as long as possible, which is what we don't wanna do with TikTok. We wanna to get to the core value as soon as possible. So attention in the first three seconds, core value right away, right after that. And then the relevance, do not over post the copy. Hashtag as many of the words relevant to the video as possible. So we get 140 characters in a TikTok post. Whatever we can hashtag, let's hashtag it, right? So don't, don't overdo your copy because your video is going to be doing the copy explanation for you. So what that copy should be in the post, it should be majority of hashtags. Uh, there's gonna be some people that disagree with me on this, but in the reality of things, the more hashtags that you have in your post that are relevant to the post, the more, uh, the, the more opportunity you have of being um, seen by other people. Snackable content is king or queen. I'm straight up with all my ladies. Uh, when using the strategy, uh, we need to make sure that that's snackable content. TikTok is not a platform for uh, three minute videos, uh, even one minute videos, even though some of mine are one minute and I just tend to go against the grain. Um, one minute videos are, uh, they don't tend to do as well as 15 seconds uh, or shorter. So if you can pack all that information into 15 seconds, and 15 seconds is a long time, guys. We sat here and counted to 15. Uh, it, it, it's a long time. So you should have enough time to be able to do that. So again, give yourself a couple practice runs before you post it up. And the community is going to tell you what they want to see. This is super important. You're going to post up what you want to post up anyway. 
but whatever your community tends to relate to more, they're telling you, we want to see more of that. So if that's the case, that's the content you should be building. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be posting what you want to post, but at the end of the day, if you're, if you're, your community and your followers are telling you what they like, then guess what? You need to post what they like. That's how you're going to be successful in there. You can't be selfish about it. This is something that uh, I believe is massively overlooked and something that we, we, we tend to not, um, not pay attention to is the importance of when we use a hashtag, you know, where does it go and why do we do that? Um, the reason that we want to use a hashtag is really simple. So our niche or my niche um, originally from, every, you know, from the very beginning of what I've always done has been reputation management. So if you type in uh, hashtag reputation management or search the hashtag reputation management, I dominate, I dominate that hashtag within TikTok, right? So if there was ever a time where let's say people were going to search TikTok for people that are relevant based, man, I look, my face looks horrid in that picture, by the way. Um, if someone was ever going to do research on someone who knows about a specific niche and knows a lot about a specific niche on a specific platform and they search reputation management and they find that I'm all over it, then I must be the expert in that field. So based on that, make sure that the TikTok, sometimes the TikToks, I've always stayed away from vanity hashtags, but I'm not necessarily opposed to them on TikTok. I believe here they can do really well for you based on that content that you put out. So only use relevant hashtags in your posts. Hashtags, um, they, they may limit the views on your video. There's a lot of the times when you use ones that have too much, we were talking about before, like the billions, that's a real big problem. Um, stick to using the lighter, similar versions of those hashtags. This will assist in increased views. So what I mean by that is look at ones that maybe have like a couple thousand, a um, couple million. Um, when we get into the billion section, that's when we start having a big problem. The other thing is there's a lot of people that uh, tend to use FYP or for, hashtag FYP, which stands for for you page. Um, and then hashtag for you page, et cetera. Um, it's not guaranteed that your post is going to reach there. Um, so sometimes I believe that that is a waste of space to put your hashtag in there when you could have put a really valuable hashtag that could have done something for you. So using that FYP or for you page in the very beginning, uh, maybe about six, eight months ago, using FYP and for you page was really, really good. It was a smart move. Not so much anymore. Uh, TikTok kind of caught on to that and they've uh, stopped being, <sighs> advantageous to people that use that. Post ha hashtags in the comments. So in the comments section, in Instagram, I like to use the hashtags in the actual posts. I spaced it out, but in TikTok, you have the ability to go into the comments section, add some more hashtags if you want to, and TikTok's algorithm will also pick up on the hashtags in the comments section. So use your hashtag hashtags in your post, but if you haven't, if you weren't able to use all your hashtags, post the rest of your hashtags in your comments. And then find relevant followers based on your niche, um, that are using those hashtags and use those same hashtags. I, I, I can't, I just can't stress enough how important that is that you use those relevant hashtags that those people are using. That is such a quick and easy way to um, grab it up. All right. So that's the end of that part. Now we're going to jump over to, um, let me hop over here, let me share, and I'm going to use my phone. I've never done it this way before. Just sure I have. I think I already installed that. Yeah, there it is. All right, cool. All right, let's get rid of uh, this one. All right, so can, this is gonna be important for me to be able to see this chat for you guys. All right, now can you guys all see my phone? Just want to make sure TikToks I haven't done on deleted. Sorry, hold on one second. A lot of like screen moving around here. There we go. 
Okay, cool, awesome. Here, so let me give you a little hack on this real quick. So, um, and if you guys didn't know this, you could actually use it. So on Zoom, you have the ability to mirror your iPhone to Zoom, which is pretty cool, which I think is really neat, right? But this is one of the important parts. This is the, this is the part where I believe that a lot of us are, are failing as um, people that are here to educate people is that we do a lot of what I just showed you, which I believe that you needed to be educated in that way first. But this is the part where we, I, I don't believe that you guys get um, to ask the questions about what's happening. So, especially within the app. So here's something that's really important, right? Um, if you can see, right here how do you get more followers on your instagram well here's a great great way to do it is add your instagram right there to your uh tiktok profile and really what's going to end up happening is when somebody clicks that instagram it's going to take them right over here and they can decide whether or not to follow you and that's extremely important because that's how you're going to get more followers if they like your tiktok content human behavior is going to say hey if I have the option to easily click with one click of a button to go follow them on Instagram, I'm going to go do that. And they will. So I can tell you that uh, TikTok has probably gotten me, I don't, a couple, of, at least three or 4,000 followers um, just, from, just from TikTok alone. Um, there's a couple of different things that we want to talk about here. And one is if you've never, um, if you haven't, if you haven't uh, switched your TikTok from a personal account to a pro account, I 100%. Um, think that you should do that. Um, has anybody switched to a pro account? Put, go ahead and put it in the chat here. Has anybody switched to a pro account um, from a personal account? If you haven't, let me know in the chat. Yes, Jennifer, I know you have. No, you haven't. Barbie, okay. The only reason DML did it is because I told him to do it. Hey, smartsocial.com. That's a that's actually a great notification, by the way. If you're a parent, smartsocial.com is uh, really cool. And by the way, also I should mention this: Jennifer DeSantis uh, does um, a great thing where she um, educates parents on social media to protect their kids. So if you guys ever want to follow Jen, um, I would 100% do that. Didn't even know it was an option. Uh, somebody said I was smart. I don't think I'm smart. I think I just uh, do a lot of trial and error. But I appreciate that. All right, so here we go. Three dots in the top corner right here. See this? We're gonna click that. All right, and then we're going to go to, to manage my account. And then right here, guys, see where it says switch back to a personal account? Now if you, it, right on yours, it's going to say switch to a business or a pro account. You're gonna click that and you're just gonna quickly go through um, you're going to quickly go through the prompts. It's very fast and very easy. It's one of the easiest things that you can do on TikTok. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you the ability to start being able to see analytics. So I'm going to go through that one more time for you guys, because I know you probably need to see it. So three dots on your TikTok. Click it. Then you go to manage my account. And then you're going to go down here. And if you haven't switched to a pro account, it's going to say switch to a pro account now. And again, like I said before, that's going to give you the ability to see uh, analytics like this, where you're going to be able to see your video views. You're going to be able to see the followers. You're going to be able to see your profile views. You're going to be able to do it from 28 days to seven days, things of that nature content that's performing really well. Like this one Gary Vee when I did, it's gotten a lot of engagement. Um, yeah, an organic reach is just 9,707. It's actually over 11.8 right now. So, I mean, just tell me this. Where else can you get 11,000, almost 12,000 views organically without with a 50 second video? There isn't a place on the planet you can currently do that. Um, let's see. Apparently I did switch when you suggested it. Oh, okay, good. All right, good. Well, that's, that's great. I'm glad you did that. So there's another little thing. So what, what I want you to see here is this, look at my profile. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
Now, switching to a pro account is going to open up a couple of different things for you. So if you can see right here, see how I have my website in my profile? Who here has put their website in their profile? Clickable website. Chris, I 100% recommend picking something that is as close to what you do. That's a great question. I recommend picking something as close to what you do as possible. But being that you're a real estate agent, I would find something that's, that's going to be the closest thing. Uh, that, that's really all I can tell you, man. Um, you can always switch later, but you can, you can click creator. You can click whatever you want. Okay. So here's the thing. I believe... I think I need a website for me and not just her. And I agree hundred percent, Barbie. There's no reason why you shouldn't have your own website. Um, and, and you know, this is getting away from TikTok for a second, but this is why the reason, the reason that you should have your own personal website nowadays is because of exactly what's going on. The unemployment rate is the highest it's ever been. Okay. Based on that, if you don't, even if you're working for somebody else, if you don't have your own personal brand set in place, 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 place dude, you're, you're in trouble right now. So if you had a personal brand set in place a year and a half, two years ago, how much value do you bring uh, if you've lost your job? How much value do you, do you bring to a business that is currently hiring right now if you have your own information and your own personal brand already set up? That's something that I, I've been trying to explain to you guys for a very long time is that your personal brand is way more important than, the, than anything else that you're doing right now. Um, so that's why you should have your own personal website. And you should also, by the way, and I'm sure Jen will back me up on this. You should 100% buy your kids named .com or even .tv. You should be buying your kids. So if your kids is runnercollins.com, I mean, there's no reason for you not to buy it. It costs like three or $4. Go buy your kid's website and they'll thank you later for it. Um, maybe do it for uh, Christmas. I'm sure they'll be really happy that you bought their own website for them. Um, I we have our website in, it's not clickable. How do you do that? Oh, okay, great. All right, so I'm getting to that. So next step is go to the three dots again. This is a great hack. And this is how I was able to get that website uh, into my profile. So you're gonna click the three dots and then all the way down to the very bottom, there's join TikTok testers. Does everybody see that? Okay, great. Yes, I'm drinking my bang, sponsored by bang, and Jeanette Hitchcock and Rich Beck from Beck and Specs. And then we're gonna click on join TikTok testers. Okay, so this right here, this is a very interesting little hack, and this is how you can basically have access to things on TikTok before other people uh, have access to it. So a lot of people are always like, dude, how'd you get that? How'd you get that? Dude, there's, there's beta programs that are always available to people where you can get access to all this type of stuff right away. So follow literally what you see on the screen. So when you go back and let me go back real quick so you guys can see that again, we went to the three dots. We scrolled all the way to the bottom and then we hit join TikTok testers. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click this, you in the app store, you're going to download the, the test flight app and uh, it'll reopen this within TikTok for you. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see this after that happens. Your TikTok's gonna have a yellow dot on it. And that means that you're now approved in TikTok testers. And then that's gonna give you the ability to edit your profile and add your website in. Got it? Makes sense? Yes? No? Good? Good. I can't stress that part enough. I can't stress the, the TikTok testers enough because you're gonna get so, you're gonna get so much, uh, so many. So let, let me back it up for a second. TikTok is a Chinese from China. It's a Chinese uh, run company, right? It doesn't matter really at the end of the day, it's Chinese owned, but everybody from America works for them. Actually, e even more interesting, um, TikTok stole a bunch of engineers from Facebook. So you're gonna start seeing a lot of stuff 
uh, that's similar that from Instagram and Facebook, you're going to start seeing that in TikTok. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty amazing over the next year here. I'm going to see some really amazing stuff, but based on that, um, there's a, uh, the TikTok version in China is called Doyen. And what Doyen is, is just like TikTok, but Doyen is like TikTok on steroids. So basically what that means is it has all this, it's the only available app for making your account professional. Yes. Yes. 100%. Um, Anna, yes. The, uh, what Doyen currently is doing is what TikTok will be doing. So whatever Doyen is found popular in Doyen in China and what people like there or, or in these other countries like Russia and other places like that, that utilize it more than, than us in America right now, um, they add that. So they knew that having your website and your profile was extremely important. Um, so that's something that they add and they're going to continue to add uh, those new things. So let's get into the next thing. Who knows how to post on TikTok? I want to see that in the chat. And who doesn't? Okay, cool. Okay, great. Some of you haven't. And I guess the first step would be, let's download the application. Um, which I believe is extremely important. You have to have the mobile app on your phone to be able to do it, right? Um, so don't even have the app yet. Randy, you got to download it, brother. Got to download it. Behind the eight ball, don't have TikTok yet. Yikes. Yes, yes, that is. My assumption would have been this, and maybe I should have mentioned this, is that my assumption should have been, hey, download TikTok before you join a TikTok training course. Maybe, I don't know but we're all a little loopy right now. We're all a little crazy. I get it. So, but for those of you that don't know how to post a TikTok, let's kind of get into that. So first thing we're going to do when you open up your TikTok and you've created your profile, and obviously creating your profile is very, very easy. It's not difficult. Just never posted. Okay, Chris, no problem. Um, it's not difficult, but I, I want you to go through that process of making sure that you have a couple hashtags. Okay. A couple hashtags in your profile, short, uh, and sweet about what you do and make sure you're having fun here. Okay. So it's just, don't have to get too crazy. But again, when you switch that pro account and join TikTok testers, it's going to give you the ability to add to your website. So let's, let's start before we even get to the post, let's start with what's available to you and what you see there. Okay. So the very first thing is the home page. So man, these girls are good by the way. So this is my for you page right here. Okay. And then this is my following page. So these are people that I follow. So this is D-Rock, my good buddy who films for Gary V. It's like his post. So this is the people that I follow, right? Now for you is people that I've never seen before. Hey, you can see some of those comments. See how he's doing that? I'm going to show you guys how to do that too, which is pretty cool. So if I want to like her post, I'm going to click that heart. If I want to comment on her post, I can jump in here. I can add my comment. And as you can see, a lot of us in here are going to judge her and we're going to say, oh my God, she's so stupid. Da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, she's found opportunity. And as you can see, she's getting a lot of organic reach. So you got to get past the judgment side and you got to get past, you got to get past the, um, not only the judgment of other people, but you got to get past the judgment of yourself and you just got to start putting out that content. All right. So now we're going to get in. Didn't want to do it yet without knowing how to do it. No, I get it, Pasco. No, no problem. Um, but here's the thing. Now, now you're going to know how to do it in about 10 seconds. So you're not going to have any excuses why not to. Um, this right here is the uh, Discover page. And, and before, like I said before, that what we just looked at was the FYP page, the For You page. When, so when somebody says to you the For You page, 
that's the for you page. The for you page is when you see uh, TikTok decides what to show you based on what you interact with and engage with. Okay. This is the discover page. Now the discover page is something that we were just talking. I literally was just talking to you about. So when you wake up in the morning and you want to go find current, current hashtags or current um, uh, challenges that are out there right now that you can engage with. So a perfect example would be college memories, right? So this is, this is really still early. Um, if you look through here, one look, Happy Easter was 1.5 billion. Is there any reason why we should even attempt at this point to jump into that challenge? No, there's no reason for us to do that. Yeah, actually, I, I think you, Spanish would be, actually, it's really smart. I believe that you would actually probably get a very, very large following just based on that. Um, there's probably a huge Hispanic community that's asking for, um, for that. So yeah, I would definitely do it. I have this issue throughout all platforms. Yeah, I would, I would do both, actually. Um, so college memories, we're only sitting at 11.3 million right here. So in TikTok language, 11.3 million is not a lot. So if there's something that we can do where we believe that we could do something within our niche in that same way, then we want to do it. So we want to click that and then we want to go through and look at content. And then based on this content, we want to be able to see, hey, is there something in here that seems to do well that we could do? Well, that is not too well. Um, that we could do similar to that and then post that up, right? And then use the same hashtag. So a perfect example would be something like this, right? So cleaning this, we wanna look at college memories, time to shower, shower time, foot massage, right? We wanna look at something that's similar. So we all have dogs, we all love dogs. So what's this dog doing? I don't think that was the dog one, was it? Interesting. I'm not even. My, my opinion would be that we could probably come up with our own a photo collage of you in college and you could put that in there and use similar music. So here's something that's, that's interesting. If you wanted to take this particular hashtag, it doesn't have to be this hashtag, but let's say you wanted to take this hashtag and you want to follow it and add it to your favorites. You can add it to your favorites right there. And then we would actually be able to utilize from right here, that hashtag immediately. So pretty interesting. So currently this one right here is voiceover. Um, that's another one that's really doing well. And voiceover is basically where you can record your own voice uh, on your iPhone. I, it's not, it's, it's, a, it's a much more advanced option. And I don't think you need to focus on that right now. I think you need to focus more on just posting. It seems like that's the one that we really need to do. Um, so that's, what we're going to get into next, but yeah, the discover page, pay attention to these hashtags, guys, pay attention to the challenges, pet life. Perfect example, man. This is a perfect opportunity for you to post something up about your pet. That's really, really funny. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be about a niche. And the reason I say that is because look, I did this one with Camden the other night. Jesus fucking people don't go to work and get out of my motherfucking house. I'm gonna go nuts. Jesus fucking Christ, every day. I'm their fuck. I swear to so, God. So, has nothing to do with digital marketing. Nothing like that, but it was entertaining to people. People seemed to like it. They engaged with it. And it got 27 likes for no reason. I mean, I was like, I, it, all it was was a video of Camden cussing at me, right? So a lot of value right there. Now let's get into the post side of it. This plus sign obviously is where we want to start to post. Uh, based on that, hold on one second. Okay, based on that. Based on that, we want to click the plus sign. And now we're ready to post, right? So it depends on what we want to do here, but I'm going to flip it around. So now we're looking at me. Let's do it here so I can. Right. So I got a couple of different things that I can actually do here. I can either switch to 60 seconds. If I wanted to do a one minute video, 
or I can switch to 15 seconds. Now, 15 seconds would be shorter, okay? It would be a shorter video than, uh, it can be shorter than 15 seconds, right? So if I wanted to do that, and let's say like I, let's say I had a video already ready to go. You're gonna hit upload. Let's grab, uh, let's grab this. So this video is 24.7 seconds. TikTok is already going to know that even though I click that 15 seconds, it's still gonna show the entire 24 seconds, but I can shorten the video down to five seconds if I want to. And just, now, what's the value of me taking that video from 24 seconds, especially the way that it is right there? Why, what's the value to me taking it from 24 seconds to five seconds. Probably gonna get me rewatches. Full video, no question about it, it's only five seconds. I can keep somebody's attention for five seconds watching this because they think that something else is gonna happen. This is a great way, yes, exactly, rewatch, you got it. So, doesn't always have to be that 60 second, one minute or dance video. This is a great way to level up and I guarantee you, if you guys post something like this, I can tell you right now in that five second range, you're gonna see some. You're gonna see some big changes in the people that are engaging with your your profile. Now, let's stretch it back out real quick. So let's say we've got our video, or we've got our image, or whatever it is, and it's set up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna hit next. And I know we're very basic right now. This is just us posting. This is exactly what we're doing. It's something that we already had on our phone. Put it up there and now it's next. Now it's time to get creative. Now it's time for us to actually do something else, right? So down here, I always start with the sound. So right now there's no sound to this video, right? I'm gonna go to sound. And then I always go to more. And then remember what I was telling you guys about trending music? So if you click trending, this is all music that's currently trending. Now what we want to do is we want to find something that would mesh well with that video. Now, here's one thing that I will tell you. Let's say that the volume on the video that we posted up was the value add, right? So let's say that the volume, it was important for someone, whoever was watching that, that, that TikTok, it was important that they hear right? They hear what we were saying, but we also still want to get the views using the music. So based on that, we want to grab, we can grab, let's say, lose control. So if you like this song, we're going to click check. Okay. Now, remember what I was saying. If, if the volume was important on this video, we're going to go here again and then we're going to go into click volume and I can bring the volume of the sound of the trending song way down in fact I can bring it all the way down to one and it's quietly in the background and then I can bring the original sound up so you hear me talking throughout the video but this video will still get picked up using that trending sound. Does that make sense? Let me know in the chat. Excellent. Great, 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 great. Now, if the case is that I can't tell you again, another very, very important thing. So you got to be able to do that. All right. So let's say we picked the music now. Now let's add some effects. I'm not a huge, I don't use a lot of effects on here. I don't use a lot of the filters or anything else like that. So there's a couple things that you can do. This will just change the look of the video. So if you wanted to apply some different things, you could. If you wanted to go to effects, you can change to this version or time warp or the triple screen, the long face, which makes no sense on this one. 
the black eye, whatever we want. Okay. There's a bunch of effects here. Transition. So transition is kind of like in the middle or the bet, you can tap and select where the transition effect will be repeated. So you could actually do like a turn on the TV would be right there, which wouldn't make much sense. So we would want to move that back there, which is where we would want it. You can split it. So again, you can apply the effects in the middle. Again, I would not 100%, I would not go over, I would not go over uh, into that effect side and, tr and start to try to get too in depth on the creative and transitioning because it's going to become very complicated for you, um, which is what I don't want you to do. I want you to focus on getting the content out there. So the next step would be, and this is, I'm not gonna go down the line here. I'm gonna jump over stickers real quick. So stickers are gonna be GIFs. So I 100% recommend that you should type in my name and then you can see that I'm in here. So let's put me there. Yes, you can type in my name in Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, and my you can use my gifts that pop up. Bet you guys didn't know that. That's a whole nother tutorial on how to do that. So we in here, we grab gifts, we grab whatever we wanted to, so we can go grab stickers, we can do whatever we want, we can grab whatever we want here. Crabs, let's grab this guy this guy down here do whatever we want okay good and then we're going to do text so this is the most important part this is where i was telling you about how like if we had a video and people were talking we want to make sure that if we didn't add our subtitles using beamly then we want to be able to type what's happening in here so let's type in type crabs good okay now that that's done it's right here we're going to hold it down tap on it. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see set duration or edit. Okay. So what I mean by that is you could type here and we could edit the text by clicking fill it, right. Or change it to typewriter, change it to handwriting, change it to neon, whatever we want to do. We're going to keep it classic for now and we can change the color by hitting the colors here. Cool. But that's not the one that I find is the most important set duration so we can figure figure out where we want this text to pop up so being that that's being that said we can click it hit set duration and then we want it to show up at the one point seven second point from from here on for 1.7 seconds and then we want it to disappear so watch Go back and look real quick. Boom. See how it went away? Oh, no problem, Jen. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. That makes sense to you. Do you, if you guys understand that, do you, does everybody understand that? That's how we set the duration on the text that we add. So we're going to hit text. I definitely spelled duration wrong. And I will tell you this, that TikTok does not have a Grammarly section in it. So we're gonna set this one for much later. Okay. Now, our post is ready. We've added music, we've added everything, we've done everything that we wanted to do, we wanna hit next. And that takes us right here. All right, so. Do I recommend that you have public on? Do I recommend, do I recommend that your profile is public? 100%. By the way, there's some of you in here that are on Instagram and you have stories, Instagram stories that you post up and here I'll see something that I really, really like on your profile and I'm about to like share it right in my stories and like give you guys a shout out. And I can't do that because you guys are private on Instagram. I, I don't understand it. Make your profile as public. That's how you're going to get noticed by people. That's how you're going to get shares. If you have a private profile, no one can share your stuff. So you're taking one of the biggest KPIs, key performance indicators that a social media company uses to show you to more people. You're not utilizing it because no one can share your content. So that's a real big problem. So I want to recommend that you're public, um, allow comments on it, allow duets and reactions. Duets are really important because if somebody likes something that you see, they can duet it, which means 
they can have your video showing on this side and they can have a reaction to your video on this side. So it can be positive or negative, but in the reality of things, most are going to be positive. Now let's say that we wanted to put this post in and let's say like hashtag. Okay. So when you just hit the hashtag, it's going to show you what is hot right now. There's flames next to it, right? None of these have anything to do with this post. So should we use it? No. So what I mean by that is this crab hashtag crab season is here. Hashtag seafood. Now I, now I can look at it, right? So I see that seafood has 1.2 billion views. Is this a waste? Maybe it's a lot. That's a lot of views, 1.2 billion, which means the odds of this video being seen are not too, not too good, but seafood challenge under this has 17 million, some opportunity there. So we're going to go with that one and so on and so forth. Right. Once you're done, you can also add your friends. So there could be a, my buddy, Eric. Um, I could add Eric if I wanted to one click of a button there. And then this is one of the reasons that I really, really love um, TikTok. And it's one of the things that you guys probably don't realize is that you can use TikTok as you can use TikTok as a feature to post to other platforms. So if I was ready to post this, right? Or actually, let's go back real quick. I apologize. If I wanted to save this to my drafts right there, it's ready for me to post later on. So let's just say I wanted to do it shoot the TikTok, but I didn't want to post it yet. This right here in the draft section, I can, when I'm ready to post, I can select it. And now I'm ready to post it again. So I could shoot that TikTok and maybe like, Hey, look at my analytics and go back and look at my analytics and go, Oh, people really tend to watch my TikTok at 11 o'clock at night more than any other time. That's when I want to post. So make sure that you're keeping an eye on that. When you switch to that pro account, that gave you the ability to see that. Do you know how long the drafts last? Um, I haven't, to be quite honest with you, I don't do a lot of drafts, but I, I, I'm pretty sure the drafts last forever, like you, until you decide to post it. I've never seen anybody have a problem with drafts, like deleting themselves or anything else like that. Yeah, I've never seen that. Um, so we're going to post, but let's say I wanted to send a text message to somebody. I want to do it to Instagram, Instagram stories, Snapchat. And now <laughs> look at her. It's terrible. That volume was out of control. Okay. Okay. Now we're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry about that. So apparently I actually did upload that TikTok. Feel sure to do the file size. Yes, I know. Where is it? Let's delete this. So this is something interesting that actually before I delete it, I want to show you guys. So if I want to share it somewhere else, I want to share it to Snapchat or Instagram stories or anywhere, I can do it right here. But let's also look at it. There's two things that we can do. We can save this video. And now that video is saved our camera roll so we can go and put it somewhere else if we wanted to. Okay. But here's another interesting thing. This is something that's very interesting. So click these three dots. Actually, let's do it. I'm going to use somebody else's TikTok. I'm going to delete this real quick. Let me turn the volume down real quick. So let's say like, I like this guy's, let's say I like this guy's video, right? If I wanted to download this guy's video with out, actually, let me find somebody else. Let me find some. Okay. Let's say I wanted to download this video right here off TikTok, and I wanted to use it somewhere else. I click here. Actually, I can't do it with that guy. Let's try a mortgage guy. No, nope, can't do it with him either. Here we go. All right, so see this video? I like this video a lot and I wanna use it somewhere else. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna not save the video, but I'm gonna save it as a live photo. 
and it's converting this into a live photo. This is a cool little hack, man. I don't think anybody knows about this. So I found the video I liked, I clicked the arrow, saved it as a live photo. Now I'm gonna jump into here. Here's the live photo, I'm sorry. I'm gonna click this little square down here with the arrow. Hit save as a video. And now I've saved the video. And then I can edit it. And now there's no TikTok. Not too shabby. Pretty cool. If you guys aren't using that, you guys 100% should be using it. Um, especially if you find videos that you really, really like. Does that make sense? Yes? Good. In your messaging side, this is where people can message you. Hey, look, Chris liked my video. Hey, thanks, buddy. This is where you're gonna find out people following you. Um, and you're gonna get DMs. I, to be quite honest with you, have a very tough time keeping up with all these direct messages. There's a lot and a lot of people direct message on TikTok. I mean, it's, it's insanity. Um, I just, it's very difficult for me to get to them. There's a lot. Um, so here, what I typically will do is I will go back and I'll follow other people. Of course, I wanna look at their profiles first, first before I, I follow them. Um, but what I find is if we're not, if we're not, if we're looking through this and we're finding people that we don't like, that's a big problem. So what we want to do is we want to go in here back to our profile, hit those three dots and then go into privacy and safety. And we want to make sure that you are adjusting to like, if you don't want people to be able to do it, do it with you, you want to be able to hit no one or just friends, things of that nature. So make sure you guys take a look at that. One of the other things I wanted you to look at was digital well-being. If you have kids on TikTok, this is super important. I don't use it for myself, but you can go into restricted mode. And um, what it's going to do is it's going to give them, basically it's going to show them, uh, not show them um, specific things on TikTok. Let's say TikTok that has cuss words in it, things of that nature. It's going to help them from that standpoint. And then you can also limit their screen times. So if you can get your hands on their TikTok account or their phone for a second, um, really, really important for your kids to be able to do that. I operate in dark mode. Um, I just like it. And if you want to share your TikTok code, it's right there. You can save that to your device and that's how you can get people to follow your TikTok. And what I want you guys to remember is I want you to be able to share, I want you to share your TikToks on other platforms. Um, the only, a lot of the times when we say we struggle with getting people to follow us, one of the reasons is because we don't even let people know that we're there. And so if you don't let people know you're on a platform, then they're not going to go follow you. So make sure that you're, say, you're, you're sharing that TikTok code. Make sure you're letting people know. And by, by letting people know, you're going to be able to take TikToks, shoot those TikToks, and then share them, um, share them on other platforms. That's another great way for other people to know um, that you're on this platform. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, you can also, by the way, you can also add different, you can also add different um, accounts. So you don't have to have just one account. If you have one account, um, like Barbie, if you just want to do one account where you're just like dancing and having fun doing your songs, you can create that account and then have a professional account too. So it's very easy to add multiple accounts um, on TikTok. Any questions, any, anything like that, that I can answer for you that I didn't get to, or that you were hoping to learn from this that I can go over. My daughter is asking if she follows you, will you follow back? <laughs> yeah, I'll follow her back. Does it make sense to have two accounts when I'm trying to build up followers? Yeah, it does. Um, I, if it, to be quite honest with you, I don't, I don't, the, as long as the accounts are different, I would um, like, okay, so here, here's a perfect example, guys. If, if you're on TikTok, go follow Barbie. Um, 
she's in payment processing for Heartland, but at the, at the same time, she does a lot of her videos are entertaining, they're funny. She focuses a lot on a lot of really good music where she does a lot of lip syncing and stuff like that. Maybe you should have one professional account and one uh, account that is uh, strictly, you know, just you doing the, the, the music and the lip syncing. And what you might find is the lip syncing one's probably gonna be the one that's gonna do the best on there. Um, and that's okay, that's fine. Um, people want to know that we're dealing, especially in business nowadays, we want to know that we're dealing with real people. That, it's just the end of the day. That's, that's what people want to know. I, I'd much rather want to do business with somebody who does lip syncing 80 songs than someone who uh, just spends all their time on LinkedIn and that's it or Facebook. You got, I know you guys have questions. What's the captioning website's name? Uh, it's Veemly. Let me put that in there for you. V-E-M-E dot L-Y. That's a, that, I mean, hands down. Um, there is, I think most of it's free, but there is a paid, paid version for it. I also use mixed captions. Yeah. Mixed captions is good. I, I think you're going to like vehemently a lot better. It's less work. And what I mean by that is, um, with mixed captions, I know most of the time, if you're not speaking like perfectly clearly like this, um, you're going to have to go back in and do a lot of editing with Beamly. Um, you're going to find that the editing process is very, very fast and quick. By the way, I'm allowed to touch my eye. So I'm going to touch it because I've been quarantined. You guys have questions, dude. I know it. This happens every time, especially when I do my big seminars. People are always scared to ask questions because they're afraid what other people are going to think. Ask the questions. on TikTok right now. So far, so good. Okay. Transitioning snaps and videos. Okay. This is a lot of great content. Sadly, I have to jump off. See that you're recording this one. Yes, I am. Unrelated. Can you help me with a website? Yes, I can. Our agency builds websites. Um, Amy, you said transitioning snaps in videos. Can, can you get a little bit more detailed with that? Different clip. This is a lot of here. Different clips. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, thank you. That's a great one. All right. So, well, let's let's do this one first. If we wanted to add a bunch of different images, but make it into a video, this is what we would do. So we would go here. to templates. Actually, we're going to go, we're going to go here instead. And then we're going to beautify ourselves. Yeah, we smooth, we smooth, we smooth. All right. So there's one really important one on TikTok that a lot of people don't realize or know about, but it's called green screen. So it's actually this one right here. And now I can choose what I want back there. So you can actually add like multiple photos to this. So I could add like way more or I could add like I could go here, I could add this one, right? Um, green screen is extremely important. It's a really, really good one. But you can add a bunch there. And then the other one is this, where we go to templates and we select, let's go here. This one, we'll select this. We don't have to use that same song, but let's say we wanted to grab up a bunch of these photos. And let's say that I didn't like this particular song or effect, I'm sorry. And I wanted to split transition. This is what you were talking about, Amy. You can add a transition right there. Make it slip. Scroll right there. Go vertical right there. Then I want to split it again. Do a mixed. And save. Got it? Here's another one. 
these te- just so you know these te- these don't tend to do very well like these these uh these image image ones um just so you guys know uh they they just don't um and until tiktok decides that you can just upload one image which you can um but you can also do it this way so let's say we want to do a 15 second video but we wanted to use photos and we wanted to do it as a slideshow And then we wanted to add music. I would do this. Yeah, so Amy, this is what I would do. So let me go back and show you how I did that. Because I think that's what you're talking about. It's almost like a slideshow. Let's go back again real quick and do it again. So let's say we wanted to shoot a 15 second video. Of, of, let's just say like a slideshow. If we wanted to do that, we would hit upload. And instead of going to video, we're gonna go and grab photo. Grab the photos of the before and after in the arrangement that you would wanna do. Hit slideshow. And then we would start doing before and after. And of course you would be able to, let's say like you wanted to switch it to vertical or horizontal switch. You can add filters here. And then you could also add different music. So you could actually record your own if you really wanted to. Let's add some hip hop. Okay, makes sense. Yes. Oh, I'm glad, dude. Is that what you were talking about? Now listen. That's a that's a we're looking for more video before and after the problem. Okay, great. So Amy, that that worked for you. And do you understand how to do it? Yes, absolutely. All right, cool. Now, here's another great little hack that a majority of you guys don't know. Let's say that you found a video, right? That uh, is horizontal, right? So let's say like right here, we've got that horizontal Black Panther image, right? What I wanna do is I wanna go over to InShot. I'm a big fan of InShot for reformatting video. <clears throat> now you're going to lose a little bit of compression here, which can happen. Um, it's just one of those things. So based on that, that video was shot horizontally, right? It wasn't shot vertical. Now everything on TikTok is almost, is we want to be vertical shot, right? It is a great editor. So if I'm going to take it here, this is where a lot of people don't realize they can do this, but go into video. No, we're going to grab that Black Panther video. Okay, now this is what we can do. Instead of going and hitting the automatic TikTok version of the format right here, I'm gonna zoom and I'd rather have it like that than I would like that. Cause it's technically, it's already, it's already done, right? But let's say like I wanted to make it all black in the background, now it's set, right? But I only care about this portion. And now I can preview it here. Maybe that was the only important part. So I can enjoy, I can adjust where I wanna put this video all over the place. Now, what it does is it automatically formats for you in here. Now, once we've got that set, I can add black panther. Same situation, right? I can take this. And then right here, I can adjust where I want this to show up. Do I want it to show up right there? So now I can watch play, Black Panther. 
goes away. It's super easy. I mean, 100%, like InShot is like one of the greatest. You can add music here. Like InShot for me is like one of the easiest, easiest applications you could possibly use um, when editing external video for TikTok. The TikTok tester app has reached maximum number of testers. Don't pay attention to that, just keep doing it. Chris, don't worry about that, man. It'll, it'll, they'll eventually let you in and you'll start to see that yellow dot. It's definitely not at the maximum. Um, it's just a setting that'll keep coming back to you, but you'll eventually get in there. Don't worry about it. Um, and then here's Beamly, like I was telling you about. This is that app, Beamly. I'm a big, big fan of it. So if I wanted to generate subtitles real quick from that Black Panther video. That quick, it's done. Gonna watch here. save them wherever I want to save them, but they're already done. Okay. Create. Blank video. I know you guys love this stuff. Gonna add that video. We're gonna add subtitles from our project. That one right here. Yep, looks good. Now we obviously, we have in black, but if we change that to white, you're gonna see all the subtitles right here. Not a lot of talking in that video, but as you can see, you can see the text there. And they're so good. And then you just export that, you're ready to save it export right to your device and you're good to go. Oh, and there's another cool thing. Like if you like those progress bars, you can add a progress bar inside that too. I forgot to show you guys that, but I know you guys like those progress bars. So if we hit add and then let's say we wanted to add a progress bar, you can position it wherever you want. And then let's say we wanted to edit the width, actually the height. Get a little lower and position it a little higher. We want it right there. There you go. And now you got a progress bar on your video. Pretty cool, right? I probably should just do a whole tutorial on Beamly because really to be quite honest with you, that's all you really, really need to edit your videos um, between InShot and Beamly. Those two things are going to save your butt. Um, I can't tell you how important uh, the captioning is on those videos of 100% use it. Hopefully you guys all got something out of this. This was about an hour and a half of information that you can jump down. Did anybody have, yes, InShot and Beamly, please. Yes, I will do that, Courtney, 100%. Did anybody have any, um, any other questions before I hop off? And if you do, let me point, let me point this out. If you do have questions, um, you can DM me on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is and ask me those questions. You're more than welcome to do that. Uh, if you come up with something later, like, hey, Todd, I was in there and I couldn't figure this out. Can you, sh can you share me this? 100% hit me up. By the way, we are still taking clients. A couple of my clients are on here that have stuck through us with, uh, during these times. Um, if you guys want to uh, sign up, um, from a personal rating standpoint, we're doing full service at $2.99 per month, no contract, which is pretty badass. 
um, I'm going to be raising prices again in about two weeks, just so you know. So now's the time. If you were thinking about signing up with us, now's the time. It's about as far as I go on a sales pitch. Any other questions, concerns? Yes, I believe that in two weeks we will be opening up this country again. If you were wondering, if you're already wondering what my opinion is on it, I think you already saw my post about it. But yeah, I think that, uh, I think this country is going to be open again in the next two weeks. I don't think, I don't think DT is going to wait. Any other questions? Let's see. I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds here. Oh, no worries, dude. I'm glad I could help you with the other thing that you needed help with the other day too. That TikTok's so good. Oh, no worries, Jeannie. TikTok's so, it's such a great platform, guys. Don't get, um, don't, don't, don't get in the situation where, you know, uh, you listen to all these people in the outs, the exteriors and saying, oh, it's just for the kids and stuff like that. What you're going to find is, no, thanks Rob. Appreciate it, Rob. No worries. Um, you're going to find a lot of people that are your age that are on TikTok and they're having a lot of fun and they're really enjoying themselves and they're putting out really good content. Um, and they're getting a lot of brand deals out of it too. There's a lot of people in there that are in their forties and fifties and even sixties um, and it's a really, really, really cool platform to be able to spend a lot of time on. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, but nothing makes you happier when you're scrolling through the 40 page and you find other people that are your age and it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. So, um, I hope all you guys are staying safe. Um, be well. And if you guys need anything at all, I'm 24 seven as you already know that, but I'm still 24 seven while I'm here. And, um, can I help you? Yeah. <laughs> I get up the little guy coming down and say, what's up? Um, but if you guys need anything, please reach out to me and let me know. And uh, I hope there is, uh, hope you guys learned something today. That's the most important thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Who are you calling?